Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Natik in Elk Grove, California, and NatikYarns.com coming to you live on Thursday. Um, it is the day of the week that I get to play host to our daily show. Susan is our camera person, and it is freezing in here today. It is cold. The heater is on and it is working, but it's got a lot to catch up with because it's very cold outside. I think it was 38 degrees when I got out of my car. Oh, it was 31 when we were leaving to go to school. Well, and you know <laughs> that if the car says 38, it's probably colder than that because the engine has been warming it up a little. True. I mean, there's a reason why if you've been driving, they say don't touch anything in your engine compartment. It's because it's very, very hot. Very hot. So, there's no way that doesn't radiate to where the thermostat sensor is. Yeah. I don't know where it is, but it's got to be yeah, that's a good on, question. on the front of the car. That, I should research that in my spare time. Yeah. Or somebody should just tell me. Somebody <laughs> in the group inevitably knows, because they, between the collective peeps, y'all know yes. everything. Yes. Somebody knows. Um, or at least knows who to ask. So. We have a fun-filled video for you guys this morning, um, starting with our grand prize, which is one of our patterns, Rapido, which is a three-stranded cowl. So you're using three strands of fingering weight yarn on size 10 and a half needles, which means that you are getting to knit it at a bulky gauge, even though it's skinny yarn. So, We've paired it with, for your prize, Dreaming Color Smushy Cashmere in this gorgeous Lavender Bloom. Alexandra's Dark Side of the Moon in Moonbeam Purple Rain with this gorgeous color splash. And then Silk Garden Sock Solo in this beautiful purple, pink, charcoal, chocolate self-striping. So you'll hold one strand of each to get a beautiful cowl. You'll have enough to make either two smalls or one large of this beautiful pattern. And how you get entered into our grand prize drawing is every time you make a purchase from the 1st through the 15th of December, you're going to get one entry. It's cumulative, which means if you purchase five times, you get five entries. If you purchase 10 times, you get 10 entries. Um, and then on Friday, the 16th of December, Boss Lady will announce who the lucky winner is on our live video. Ooh, yeah, that's what the weather told me to. Yeah. Prepare to be cold. That's what the weather told me. I'm like, I might actually have to break out. This is such an aside. But I might <laughs> actually have to break out my... I got it on sale with I had a gift certificate and then they had like this super sale where it was an extra percent off and I had a credit from something oh, I had to bring back so I got a Michael Kors bright red wool pea coat for 60 bucks that's wow. all I spent out of pocket nice. it was the best day ever I might but it's hot that's wool like hot that's like the deal I got on my London fog coat way back when my raincoat that I always wear yeah yeah, see, so it's like, it's the coat you keep forever because yes. it's amazing. <laughs> um, but it's too, most of the time not cold enough to wear that coat. I might have to break that out, and I'm probably going to have to go to a store and buy gloves. Because <laughs> I don't know where all my gloves have gone. Yeah. My fingers are freezing. And I need, like, I have fingerless gloves. I knit fingerless gloves. I know how to knit gloves. I don't, <laughs> you don't want to. That. Um. So I need to just go to a store and buy some of those, you know, those really thin knit ones that usually come in like three pairs in a pack and they're all black. Yeah. You need to get some of those because you put those on and then you put your fingerless gloves over top of them so they're still oh, cute. Oh, okay. And then your fingers are warm. Can you drive with them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think because they're gloves, they're not mittens. Yeah, um, okay. I'll have to find like the link to them. I'm sure like Target yeah. has them or something because they're generic gloves that I probably had 3,000 pairs in my life because you can layer them under heavier gloves when it's really cold. Nice. What we did in Montana because that is the land of popsicles. Isotoner, Eileen says. Is that the one? Um, 
That is a version, but those are not very cheap, like Walmart ones most of the time. Hmm. So they pr they weren't Isotoner brand, but Isotoner probably makes better ones. What I need are ones that come with like Apple Air Tags in them, so they don't oh, disappear. I don't know where they go. They're supposed to they live in like socks in the dryer. They should live in my coat pocket, but after the pandemic, they're not in the coat. Oh, I, didn't I haven't check used them for my two years. Pockets. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, see, random aside, I'm sorry, I'm focusing now on yarn. Uh, so, for the daily prize, we have a fun one to give away. This is our Adam and Eva cowl, which is a sport weight cowl with this beautiful horseshoe lace pattern divided by ridges of garter stitch. Um, we originally did it in mini skeins, but you can just do it all in one color of self-striping. <laughs> Lynn says the cats hid them. The and gloves. then we've paired it with that same silk garden sock that you guys see in the, the grand prize. Because everybody keeps going, I want that yarn. I'm like, okay, well, one of you will get it because I've got yeah. one. Uh, so this beautiful pink and purple self-striping goodness uh, will go to today's lucky winner. Um, so... Doo -doo -doo how you get entered into the daily prize. Every time you react to the video, you get one entry. So that's all these little bubbles here, which I love watching them float by. And then if you comment on the video, you get five entries per comment. Is it not staying? No, I'm doing it on the wrong side, so okay. it wasn't going to work. Uh-oh. Really cool. Okay. <laughs> I got it. It's balanced. Uh, okay. Then, for the most entries, with the least effort, you just share the video with the little arrow in the corner to your stories, to your friends. You can send it to someone in Messenger. You can share it in a group. But then you just come back to that day's video and comment shared to and where. And then you get 11 entries per share. And all of these interactions you can do during watching live. You can also do them after live and still get entries. It just has to be before about 9.30 the next morning. Or on weekends you have Sunday and Monday. So you have lots of wiggle room. But it has to be about 9.30 before the next video. Because we have to get the little comment picker ready. So up until then your entries are all getting counted so just interact with the video like we're there if you have questions though email message or call us because they don't all all the notifications do not pop up because it's funny i'll be like did you guys see this question from so and so <laughs> and everybody's like no I'm like, well, I'm glad it came through to me because it decided that the rest of you don't need to yeah. know. So it's very strange. So if it's after the video, reach out another way. The comments are not reliable enough for that. So if you comment a question after the video and we don't see it, or if we don't see it during, just reach out because we're not ignoring you intentionally. Facebook just doesn't like us. <laughs> doesn't like anybody. Let's be yeah. real. It's it's fair in its dislike. Okay, so let's come over to our handy dandy comment picker and see who our winner is. Okay. Cindy Pert, congratulations. We know you are local. So when you come in, you can let us know you have a prize and we'll get it from the cabinet. And if you win and you're not local, just tell us the next time you make a purchase. Let us know in the notes that you have a prize, and we will include it in your shipment. We still have a few of these super cute cat dog project bags. And they're super easy to wipe down because they're, I don't know what you call that fabric, but it's definitely water safe. Like an oil for washing. Cloth. Yeah. It isn't officially an oil cloth, I don't think, but it has the same water resistance. I think every one of us needs one of these in our lives. Just one? Okay, more than one. Am I the only one with a bag problem that's not a problem? No, there's, there's <laughs> no problem here. One must have a bag for every single project. 
Well, it was what this one says. Oh, yeah. Everybody yeah. Needs that one. <laughs> Even if you don't put anything in it, you just right? put it on your shelf. You need that because you need to know that you, you are, are awesome. a valuable person. Women can definitely do it all. Very roomy bags. They are very nice, Kathy. Ooh, I should get one for my child. They could take their yarn to it. Yarn to school in it because there's lots of time to work on your project during finals week. Oh, that's nice. It is very, being very slow to let me um, pin no. the link today. Maybe it'll let me. Maybe it won't. We'll look at our we'll cute see. little flowers. Actually, they're big flowers. Maybe if I refresh the page. We oh, got oh, some great stocking stuffer ideas for everybody. are a must-have in that department. And we still have this cute set of ornaments for all the dog people and or animal people. Okay, now I am ready. Okay. Okay, so first up we have for the people who love skinny yarn, aka fingering weight, uh, we have the Dream and Color Smushy Cashmere in some of our favorite colors that are also our top sellers. Uh, so some of you guys may have some of these already. So you'll have to see which ones you have to fill in in your stash. Uh, this is, this one really became my new favorite when Casapinko was here because, not because she was here, but because that was the first time I saw it. Mm. And it is amazing. This piece of plastic is <laughs> my friend today, apparently. Um, so this is Enchantment, or Enchanted, and it is the most beautiful, most, most beautiful color. It has this kind of lavender base, so lavender and cream make up a majority of your background, and then you've got these speckles of turquoise and sky blue, hot pink, teal, violet, lemon yellow lime green there's some like persimmon orange so it's got this whole beautiful rainbow that really speaks to my lisa frank personality uh, smushy cashmere if you're new to dreaming color is their fingering weight yarn that is 70 percent superwash merino 20 cashmere 10 nylon and it is 400 yards of beautiful goodness per skein. One of my absolute favorites is Smushy Cashmere. Right? I mean, I have a very healthy Smushy stash. I realize I need to work on my classy stash. It's a little <laughs> lacking. We but can help with that. Smushy and Cosette are great. Classy, I need to work on that. Like, what? How come I don't have... I keep looking for worsted weight yarn and going, how come oh, I don't have any? Because you knit it all. I guess. Yeah, we need to increase your stash. We'll, we'll work on that today because there's some in there, there, there is. might be some of that to show you guys today too um so i love enchanted this is the color that i have to do i need to do a hat for miss everly out of which i may take that as one of my holiday knitting projects because just a simple hat ribbing some garter stitch talking that stitch. I knew what I meant. <laughs> Actually, what I was thinking of doing is this pattern that I linked for you guys, the Barley Light. Oh, that um, one's nice. I've done the regular Barley, which is worsted weight, but Barley Light has this great um, little, like, play with texture that two-thirds of the hat are stockinette, and then a third is garter stitch, so you get this cute little section so it kind of keeps a little more interest in what's otherwise a very simple hat, but it's perfect for colorful yarns because it's just enough texture to play with, but not enough to get lost in the colors of the speckle. And it's one of 10 Can Knits free patterns. And as they always do, this is one of the reasons I love them. They have baby to adult large sizes which I'm thinking I should probably just knit Miss Everly the child size because mm -hmm. they only get bigger. They don't get smaller. <laughs> and, you know, she's already almost three, and I haven't started. 
Uh oh, you have until she graduates college. Okay. <laughs> Cast on adult large it is. Because with her fabulous curly hair, she's going to need room yeah. for that hat. That's funny. But I love this hat. I did a bunch for family in Alabama. All the little kids got one. Then here's another fun project. Ooh. This is the Under the Rainbow Shawl. I see Susan knitting this one. They did different colors and blended them, but with a beautiful speckle like Enchanted, do you really need to? No. Um, it would just be beautiful all in one color like this. Um, but it's got this fun little eyelet pattern. It's like a, I don't think it's the same designer, but it's like a combination of close to you and another pattern almost. Yeah. Because instead of just having this eyelet detail on the edge, it's throughout the entire body of the shawl. I can see you knitting this one. Yeah, I, I do like that. You might, well, I'll find the page later. They did it in a big size, which is two skeins. Um, they said 170 centimeters, so that's It's on sale. Wait, it's a free pattern. How is it on sale? What? Oh, no, her patterns are on sale. Okay. I, <laughs> I'm like, wait. It's a translation issue, okay. basically. That basically, she's saying her patterns are on sale. 40% off. But that's really old, too, So because that says 2018. So oh, really geez. just get this one beautiful free pattern, which, hey, while we're at Put it. Put that, yeah. Pop that in our library before it gets away. Because that's a good holiday time knitting for me. But the 170 centimeters is a really long shawl. Um, if you saw Susan's Close to You, which we did a class on, that would be a one skeiner size. And it's still good for like, if you wanna do like the cowboy cowl scarfy kind of wearing it. I really like that one. Good job. Here's my next favorite, Charcoal Prismatic which is like an oil slick in a skein because you've got all those beautiful rainbow colors that you see sitting on top of the water but then you have that dark dark charcoal background that just gives it so much depth i happen to be knitting with this color at the moment just mm. in classy cashmere not in smushy cashmere this is a color this is how much i love it i have it in all three bases nice I'm like, ooh. I have to roll have it over addiction. because look at that beautiful yeah. pop of color right there. Yeah, sometimes the colors are toned down by the black. Like you've got this real toned down olivey green, but you've got the bright turquoise right here. You've got some crimson, some magenta, teal, emerald green, lime. Like this is another beautiful rainbow, but in dark tones. So, you, so far we have the bright um, color of the Enchanted and the dark color of the Charcoal Prismatic. Um, yes, Lisa, one of the colors in my cowl <laughs> is your new favorite sunflower. You know how we say pick two noros that don't go together? I do. Think I want to see these two, two would be right? Fun. I was thinking that, and then I'm like, maybe I'm being a little Anna which is to be a little extra extreme on my color. No, I, I want to see it also. Right? Okay. okay, here's my favorite up next. I feel like we could just ombre these into something. <gasps> yes. Um, this is mermaid shoes. Oh, which, yeah, this is one I of, love this. This is one of Susan's favorites. Um, probably partially because look at all that beautiful violet in here. Then we've got a little bit of cranberry some navy blue, some turquoise, lime green, a little rust. There's some of that like marigold yellow in there. So, so pretty. Oh, it looks like peacock feathers, it does. Yes. Move fast people, this one won't last the day. I feel like most of these won't last the day. Yeah. Considering one of them that we restocked the day it came in was the day it sold out. I think this part is my favorite. Mm -hmm. it just, I, it's the whole thing, you know, and it's this. I promise I won't buy it all first. You guys can have a turn. 
like that D- already, right like almost fades so that sweater that you multi-strand and do four strands with three Ooh. colors it would blend them all wow. together in a way that would really fade them and be okay we like, need epic. something can, can well, we, we can, can colors. oh um okay <laughs> i need to go knit now but i see where you're going so we'll slide these over here so that i can put that in the order that you're drooling over because you're drooling yeah i just don't want to know if it goes with it this is another natique favorite this is dune which is a little less colorful than the others you've got this pewtery silver base creamy white hot pink chocolate and toffee and then these little speckles of indigo what's the the shawl find your fade free your fade free your fade well that's more than free your fade find your fade the, the brioche in the center oh what the fade yes i still need to start mine i need to finish mine <laughs> i have i have a um cue Oh, God, yes, how pretty this, that like, is. This, if you're multi-stranding to create that marling, this even fits in. Like, oh, V-back T. Yeah, V-back T. I am not linking all of these <laughs> because I was not prepared. <laughs> Susan went rogue on me. I apologize. Can you use this for socks? The nylon content does make it hold up a lot better for socks. Um, what you'll find in this... To me, this is not a bad thing. Your socks will pill a little bit more than a non-cashmere blend sock because soft fibers pill. Because they're soft. They slip past one another. Who cares? It's socks. It's, You're going to stick it, them in yeah. your shoes anyways. It, like, it, it, yeah, make socks by all means. They will be cozy and warm and soft and comfy, and that's really all that matters. In fact, my socks now could use a... Uh... Oh, all of my a socks little shave. Good, but I'm not, I'm not going to bother with <laughs> no. socks. Like, they're socks. I, I just pull off the big clumps, you know, when they come out of the dryer, if they have a little fuzz on them. Right. And when they're big enough, I go, oh, I should take care of that. Okay, what you got? a couple more amazing projects that you can do. This is Along the Way, which happens to be by that same designer. Um, but it... A lot of therapy oh, wow. knitting, it's got that fun, I call it a leaf shape design where they have this decrease line down the middle, but you've got a little bit of, like if I zoom in on this one, I don't know why it's doing that. You've got a little bit of like drop stitches. This looks like some slip stitches, but then you've got lots of garter stitch therapy knitting in between. Nice. So it's like that point where you start to get to where like if I do garter stitch for one more row this is going in the UFOs you get a new stitch pattern so it's very well placed to keep you from getting bored and I always like really like that leaf shape because then it adds a little movement to the shaping because you've got those diagonal lines this one calls for three skeins so you could even pick three colors that you want to blend together if you didn't want it all in one color. Then Ooh. this one I see you doing. Um, yeah. This is the Secret Skein by Stephanie Lotvin. I really like her I patterns. do like her She's stuff. She's a really good designer. This is a one skeiner. <laughs> I want to see. Uh -oh, I have I to know. read the yardage first. My oh friend. my goodness, look at that. There's some like little eyelet stitch pattern up in the top part. Then there's drop stitches in the bottom part. And these are like the wrap it twice, drop it, drop the extra loops off kind of drop stitches. Which I like that the majority of what's on the back of your neck is that. Because that means it's going to be lightweight. It'll scrunch up if needed so that it's not going to be too much bulk on the back of your neck. For me, I don't like a lot of weight on my neck. It's very heavy. There's even a little people size. Oh, how cute. Which, depending on how much of it you just want it as an accessory, you might just want the little people size. But that is a one skein wonder. Okay, I've got one more pattern for this yarn, and then I've got more gorgeousness mm. to show you. This is the Birch Pullover by Andrea Mowry. It's nice and simple, which is what I think goes great with the speckles and the variegated. It's just ribbing and then you've got this really nice clean 
shaping line here at your raglans. Like it's just a really classic pullover that then when you do it in a funky fun color like this, you jazz it right up. And this one is a full range of sizes from a 35 and a half to a 60, 66 and a quarter, which that's one of the reasons we like Andrea Mowry so much. She does sweaters for everyone. One last color, which I have to link because it is the um, much coveted pop-up club colorway that by, I think about one o'clock, the day we talked about it on video, this was sold out. So if you missed it, which I know some of you did, um, the December Dream and Color pop-up club colorway is back. This is that beautiful, icy color with the white, the powder blue, some sirline blue, emerald green, a little soft cobalt, little red violet speckles, some charcoal, some silver. It's just beautiful. Definitely another new favorite. Yes, for the blue people, that is the one that you need. I'm like, where does it fit in the lineup? Right, I was thinking that also. Oh, I think right there. So pretty. Dune Enchanted December Pop Up Club 2022 Mermaid Shoes and Charcoal Prismatic. So now I want to show you all how beautiful these are in classy cashmere. I get so sad when you take them away. Don't worry, they're about <laughs> I know. To just we here. we need room. So here's the beautiful Enchanted, which you can see gets a lot more of that lavender in the worsted weight base. Um, Classy Cashmere is almost the same fiber content as Smushy. It's 80% superwash merino, 10 cashmere, 10 nylon, and it is 200 yards per worsted weight skein. So because these are the same colors, I will go a little faster through the colors on this one, but I wanted oh. to link some projects for you guys as well for the worsted weight. So here is the gorgeousness that is charcoal prismatic. What I like about the worsted weight is the colors are a little more separated, a little more bold. When you compare them to the fingering weight, you can see a little more crispness to the colors. It's almost like one was knit, painted with watercolor and one was painted with oil paints kind of thing, like different mediums. I know those of you who don't paint are like, she just stopped speaking English. <laughs> okay, let me show one more color and then a few projects and then we'll show the other two colors. So here's the beautiful mermaid shoes. Ooh, so pretty. <clears throat> Which I would be shocked if we don't see Susan knitting something out of that very soon. I, I have a project in process at home. Okay. In the smushy. Well, you might need classy now, too. Right? Do like me with charcoal prismatic. Get it in all three weights. <laughs> okay, so we've got a couple projects. This one's really fun. Um, this is Pico de Gallo, which I wanted to show it in the variegated first, just because I wanted to show you that a simple eyelet pattern can easily play well with a variegated. The eyelets are more just there for fun. But in the solid version, oh here, let's see this picture. I can really show you like what the details of this one are. Apparently I'm not allowed to zoom. But you've got like kind of a, like a Swiss cheese overall eyelet lace. And then you've got these little eyelet stripes breaking it up. And then a cute little Pico bind off. That's the name Pico de Gallo. 
uh, but really fun, simple crescent shaped shawl would only take two skeins and it's on size nine needles. So you could do that one super fast. And this Chic and Regal Knits has really cute stuff. Then here's a fun and fast cowl, the simple Simon cowl. This is a one skein wonder level project. It's got, I want to say it's like the past stitch over stitches. Like you yarn right. over, knit to, pass the yarn over, over. I, yeah. Like, I it, feel like it's something like that. But they're crossing both ways. I is it know. is it an illusion or is it really? I think it might be an illusion, but I could be wrong. Because it, this is one of it's, those that I want to like start the pattern just to see if maybe because maybe one row they do a right twist and then say, the next what if row it, they pass do a it, pass over. It, it's a one by one over one cable, maybe sort of you know knit the second one first and then the first one and know, then the next is, way. I don't know. This is one of those <clears> that I want to do just to know how to do the stitch. And since it's a one skein Oh, hey, it's wonder, a free pattern. It's a one skein wonder, and it's free, so it's perfect for that. Let's add that to our library. Simple Simon cowl, one skein. This charcoal prismatic might have to be for that. Mm -hmm. too. All right, here's mm. <laughs> one for the shawl knitters. Galaxy Lemonade shawl. This one is just easy sections of garter stitch and mesh lace. Nothing too fancy, perfect therapy knitting, and perfect for showing off the beautiful colors of one of the variegated or speckles. I could see enchanted for this mm -hmm. one. Two skeins. That's <clears> it. <throat> it would be gorgeous. Does everybody have their favorite yet? Oh, I forgot about this pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay. Favorite color choice. I'm like, they all know mine, so <laughs> I will not sound off on that. Yeah. You already know. I think they know mine too. Okay, next up we have that beautiful dune, which I like it even more in the classy because the speckles are a little more bold. It's like there's more of them, and really it's just because of the way the thicker yarn takes the colors, it holds it in one place a little bit more, so you get these really bold, crisp colors. Like the charcoal stands out way more in the worsted, the hot pink. I love Dune. It's quickly becoming a new favorite. Definitely. I mean, look at the pink in that one right there. And Boss Lady has slowly but surely corrupted me into a pink person. She's corrupted all of us, I think. So then, last but not least, which let me grab the link for you guys, because again, the pop-up club is separate. We have the gorgeous December 2022 pop-up club. Again, this is the color that sold out in... Like two hours? Yeah. I mean, that's like, might Oof. be a record. <laughs> might be a record for the pop-up clubs that it sold out in two hours. Here, so you can see the colors are a little more bold again in the worsted. Absolutely pretty. And I'm kind of in love with this next pattern and may need to start a new project. Uh -oh. You guys know my Rimrock cardigan that I wear all the time. Oh. And I'm always like, I need another one, but I don't want to knit the same pattern because there's too many patterns in the world. <laughs> I think I found it. This is Andrea Mowry's Ronin. Whoa, that's nice. Which has that same kind of cocoon shape, but it's a little more straight across in the bottom, along the bottom and the back. But look, it has like secret pockets built into the shawl collar. Wow. Like you can't even really tell there's a pocket there until you see that picture with her hands in her pockets. But you can see it's nice and straight across the bottom, so it's a little bit longer. Uh, you could easily adjust it shorter if you want it shorter. It's easy. Just stop knitting sooner. It's got those nice long ribbed sleeves, the wider shawl collar, like this is everything I love about my Rimrock, but in a new sweater. 
So this is Ronin by Andrea Mowry. Size seven and nine needles. It has a range of a 40 and a half to a 57. And it takes 1600 to 2300 yards. But this one, yeah, might be my next one, which don't worry, I will not hog all of one of the colors <laughs> for it because I'm gonna need more than what I think we got in anyways. So yeah. I'll just special order it and get Dream and Color to dye me my own special batch. So that one is like, I'm like, uh, that's the sweater. Then last but not least, for a fun, quick one skein project, we have this beloved Erin hat, which is really just double moss stitch, which is knits and pearls. If you can knit one pearl one, you're good. Hat. And it just gives you that overall texture, which plays very nicely with the variegateds and the speckles. And look, it's another free pattern. Was the other sweater a, it was a cocoon shape, right? Kind of. It's a little more straight across like cart, like a car coat cardigan on the bottom, but it does have that like kind of bat wing. So it's kind of a, here. So it's a combination. combination. It's a cocoon car coat. Ooh, I like it, but I don't want to say it fast. No. <laughs> Alliteration and fast do not go together. I want to put them in order like we had the other one. Yeah. Because, I mean, that makes a fabulous fade. Thank you, Melanie. A combi coon. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Pattern name. Okay. So then, next up on the yarn to talk about is, okay, well that, thanks for a second. Oop, she's going on a field trip. I forgot to grab it. We'll just look at these super pretty colors. Combi coon, I love that. I swirled on really cool patterns and forgot to grab <laughs> the 12 Days of Local Love, so I have to go get it. So, if any of you have tried to purchase the 14 paints this morning, you may have discovered that you could not. And that is because our 12 days of local love deal was so loved. <laughs> we sold out already. So we brought back the other super popular deal, which was the 14. So 14 per today only is back on sale for $12.99 instead of the original $22.99. That's, it's almost half off, which is amazing and it comes in so many good colors we have midnight for those who need a solid black this is the perfect yarn when somebody says can you knit me a black hat <laughs> like it would lurk, work with that beloved Aaron pattern that we oh just yeah liked. um and you would only need one to two depending on which size of the hat you were doing and it's soft it's squishy like this is the yarn you want to knit a black hat out of because you want to enjoy the texture since you can't see what you're doing. <laughs> Very true. Then we have the gorgeous teal in color number 20 aquarium. It's darker in real life. Changed colors here. Yeah, it's like a, that like kind of true blue teal but cameras are liars, it's fine. Then we have color number five, which is this beautiful spring green emerald lake. What weight and yardage? So 14 is a worsted to Erin weight. You can actually get away with knitting it on bulky patterns. Um, it is 147 yards per skein, and it is a scrumptious blend of merino that is a 14 micron count meaning it is super soft and cashmere so it's 90 percent of the fine merino wool 10 percent cashmere because of the softness of the wool that they used it feels more like it's like 50 percent cashmere it's super soft the chain at construction makes 
your knit's super squishy and very warm. Okay, here's another color, color 16 copper, which is more of like a fall orange. Like to me, it's not what you would consider a copper. Mm -hmm. It's more fall leaves, kind of pumpkin-y, not coppery at all, really. Just pretty. But gorgeous, nonetheless. Then we have color 17 gold spire. This is a kind of marigold sunflower yellow. I kind of went bold to light here because <laughs> I've got like the deep rich colors. Then we've got the softer palette of color number two, dreamscape, which is a soft heather gray. Then we have this beautiful powder blue, color 23, aquamarine. And this nice light lilac, number 14, nebula. So you've got your bold, rich colors, your soft, neutral colors. Some of the colors we do still have sweater quantity of. And because the 14 paints sold out so fast, we thought we better offer you guys something else. So we brought the 14 back. It is now only $12.99 a ball. And there are some good ones, Gain Wonders, out there. Um, if you go back to the video or the link um, to it, the, all the links on the collective for the video on the 10th, um, there are tons of projects linked for this yarn. Um, and of course, if you ever need help, just come in, call, etc. We'll, we'll find you a project. We love going down the Ravelry rabbit hole. <laughs> it is very fun. Like, please give us an excuse to play on Ravelry. That is like the best thing ever. I recently blocked one of the Allison cowls that is out of this yarn. Oh, nice. It's, it's with a Y, not an I, but it's so pretty. You do black as the background and any other color you want. Let me link what we're wearing real quick and then we will pop over to talking about that. So I am wearing my 22 cowl. Let me unclip the microphone from it here. Switch to my shirt. Um, so this is one of those funnel neck cowls that is all different stitch patterns. I'll take it off. I don't want to because it's cold. Um, but it's like Funnel neck basically means it's shaped like a skirt. It's skinnier at the top and wider at the bottom. I did mine at such a loose gauge I could pull it over my shoulders when I'm really cold, which is kind of amazing. I'm and a little a, jealous. And a total accident. <laughs> um, but I used two different colors of smushy cashmere. And you've got slip stitches. These are also slip stitches. Elongated knit belows. Eyelets. I think this was one of those like purl two together, knit two together, purl two together in the same stitch. Yeah. Doohickeys, some just basket weave, the elongated knit belows, some stripes, ribbing, done. It's okay. a very fun knit. It allows it to, the funnel neck allows it to scrunch up nicely on your shoulders, be able to be like that cowboy cowl kind of shape where it's pulled forward. It's fabulous in my coat in the morning and then if you're really cold at work you just it's always awkward to get it <laughs> I know back. but you just pull it down if it's loose enough so make sure your bind off is nice and loose it turns into a poncho all by its own <laughs> I need to make another one right a proper gauge this time so see like swatching matters needles. people swatching matters and last but not least I made a sweater <laughs> This is Sail Away by Marie Green out of Dream and Color Lamb and Goat. That would be so fun to use one of the new, or well, restock of our favorite smushies as the main yeah. color, and then pick two of the speckle colors in it for your contrasts, and yeah. voila, fabulous. Yeah. And you've got one of those awesome fashion fasteners on. Yeah. Um, holds the sweater because I decided I didn't want buttons, and now I'm sorry. I want buttons on this one, but I'm not redoing it. Oh, heck no. 
Nope, just fashion fastener. Yep. It's honestly just do that anyway. I know, right? <laughs> it's easier. Like, still no need for buttons. Yeah. And it's easier to knit. Thank you, everyone. We love you guys joining us every morning for our live video goodness. Um, so that'll be it for this morning. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll start pulling your orders. I'm sure there's some pop-up club disappearing as we speak. Um, and then we will open from 11 to 5 today, and we'll see you again live tomorrow at 10. Bye!